Hey you guys, hey you guys, it's your girl Kayla B. You know me and I'm coming at you with another video. Yes, another video. Oh yes. The hair is tucked away. It's tucked away in my turban. Anyways, let's get into this. It's of course a food video. I mean like you've seen the title. You've seen it. I'm just gonna review the stuff that's not boils. Well, not all of it because, you know, the sides and stuff. I just got two items and I'm just going to eat it because I'm like, yo, I'm hungry. I don't want boils, but I do want something seafood. And I do want some chicken. So I got something seafood and I got some chin chicken. So, yes. And I didn't go to the place. Oh, so you know. Huh? I had to pay that delivery fee plus the driver fee plus taxes. Anyways, this is from Juicy King Crab Express. Um, I had their seafood boil. It's banging, I'm not going to lie. Their shrimp is banging. Their snow crab is banging. And their mussels are banging. I didn't try the fried calamari. But next time, when I do another seafood review, it would be a seafood boil from the place. And the sides. Okay. Or should I do the sides first? I don't know. I also got some boiled eggs on the side because, you know, I just like boiled eggs with Obey sauce or Obey, Obey um, seasoning. And then they gave me the dumpling sauce and some white sauce. Oh, ranch for the um, barbecue wings. All right. Let's wait. Oh. They gave me the wings and this. And these are the steam shrimp dumplings. And they gave me a fork. Yep, they gave me a fork. So I'm going to put that on top of that. Fork. And one, two napkins. No, one, one napkin. Oh, you give me all this, but one napkin. They cheap. It's cheap but expensive because it's like forty something dollars for a whole seafood boil, um, close to fifty. And then ordering that on Grub Club plus all that extra stuff that's like sixty seventy dollars for um, your seafood boil. And now it's just gonna feed me because I'm a big girl. What about the size and stuff? Like no, that's a lot. That's like a hundred dollars, man. Hundred dollars on some seafood where at the different places way 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 less and they have tilapia which i love they don't have tilapia they have fried tilapia not not steamed tilapia i love steamed tilapia um anyways they have different locations i got it from the locations from um uh, bronx new york and tremont east tremont obviously i live in the bronx so of course i'm gonna get it there but yeah so let's just they said that they do grubhub doordash uber eats chow now and postmates so if you down to try 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 okay this goes with this i'm gonna go eat that later but first i want some chicken up in my belly i want some chicken up in my belly all right let's open it up that's what it is oh New nails. Mm -hmm. New nails. This is some chicken wings. They're barbecue. Oh, look at that. It's steaming in the box. Ooh, it's so glistery. And I got celery in the box. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had. I had to do some ASMR. I had to. Right off the back, I'm not impressed. They gave me a limp ass celery. And it's not even like a nice celery, like hard and stuff. It's limp. And it's not even a thick celery. It was a little, you saw that little 
This is what I'm thinking about as a celery but longer. Okay. Okay. I could mess with this celery. This one? Yeah. Okay. This is when you need more than one tissue. But I'm saving the tissue. Okay. I, is they have like lemon pepper, they have um Cajun, they have um barbecue, they have hot wings. They so but I got barbecue of course because I didn't want um I wanted lemon pepper, but the last time dang motorcycles are going out side. Okay. Yeah, barbecue wings is it's slapping. Let's see if I can eat the whole thing. Mm hmm Cause some barbecue wings I cannot eat the skin. The skin is just no. Mm-hmm. Mm. A hard part. See? Some of the skin I just can't eat. I just can't eat. People don't like seeing that. Oh, by the way, I put the bag down here, so I'm not throwing it on the floor. See, this is not how you eat a chicken bone. You're supposed to eat everything on it. Just tear it apart. Whoop. For a store made a barbecue wing, this is how much I ate. And that's not bad. It's not the best I ever had. Because the best I ever had, I cleaned the whole thing, skin and all. But some of the skin, I just can't can't deal with. Because I usually like fried. So if I have something grilled, I want it like skinless. But they didn't have skinless. So I have a wing with skin. And the skin better be crispy. If it's not, if it's just like gooey, then I don't eat it. And if it's too crispy, I can't do it. I'm gonna choke on it. So why eat it? I'm sorry for um smacking. Usually I don't smack. This is barbecue, this is barbecue sauce is good. That barbecue sauce is good. And if you want those people to say, "Oh, ew, you lick your fingers," I'm in my house. My hands are clean. I washed my hands before I I did the video. Got wet naps right there. One alcohol pies right there. Um, it's barbecue sauce. 
I like Microsoft. Like, if you, if you tell me you never, ever, ever lick your hands after you had something on it, like Cheetos or something like that, you lying. You lying. I had a strain. Piece of skin. Mm -mm. If I was high, I would I would tear this up. I'm not gonna hold you. If I was high, I would tear this up. But it's not the best wings that I've had. The best wings I've ever had is one on Bedford. Seafood Boiler Spa on Bedford. Those is amazing. Oh, you know what's a good good wings? Those Hennessy wings from BBQs. Oh, those are good wings. At least these aren't the worst wings. I had the worst wings. It's okay. Right, I say that while I'm eating it, right? While I'm chowing it down. Look. Wow, I just realized next to the bag they gave me gloves. So I could have had gloves on. Because they were like, you know you won't eat it with your hands. So, you know, gloves. It was smart. But too late. Save this. I got an egg and chicken wings. I'm going to save this for later. Cause you know later on I'm gonna be like, oh I'm hungry. Got shit right here. Got it right there. All right, I'm gonna use the other egg. The other egg. I don't know why everybody be like, why do you like hard boiled eggs and you see boiled? Why do you like hard boiled eggs regular? To be honest, I don't know. My mom. She gave me hard boiled eggs when I was younger just for breakfast, you know? So, I just dropped the open. Oh, that was hard to open. All right. A little bit of obey sauce, or well, that sauce, obey seasoning. They just shelled it really nice. I'm gonna just tell you that from the back. And they didn't overcook the egg because when you overcook the egg, you can't get it out the shell very well. And it's also a little slimy. Shake it up a little bit. It's gonna be for tomorrow. Or it's gonna be for tonight. Either one. They put number one. Number one seafood spot. Okay. You ain't better than the one on Bethel. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of this place too. It was on the receipt. Um, but you're not the better than the one on Bethel. That's all I could say. That's all I can say. Ugh. Chicken wings, I, the boiled dig is perfect. I, I I mess with that. Like, I like your seafood boils. You all right. You all right. Now on to the steam dumplings. Woo! Okay. So when you open it up, you have some. It has no type of steam. It smells like raw fish. It smells unappealing. I mean, 
they're little. They're supposed to be big, filled with shrimp, you know, vegetables, all the goodness. They're supposed to be rounded around, not just like this. And if it's like this, then it's longer. But okay. It tastes like sushi. I had steamed shrimp dumplings before. It did not taste like this. It tastes like hot sushi. The last time I had shrimp dumplings, oh, one just came open. Let me just show you what's inside. It's like a big ass shrimp. Nothing else. Oh, some carrots. One carrot. I don't think that's a carrot. Something else. I'm not mad at it. And it's coming apart too. A real good dumpling. Steamed dumpling does not come apart. They had it with the the wings, but if they're gonna put some steamed dumplings on their menu, it has to be fire. It has to be fire. They had it, it was okay with the wings, but the dumplings, let's try it with their sauce. This soy sauce. It's just regular soy sauce with some heat. It's not anything different. You know how Chinese spots, they have their soy sauce and it tastes so good with dumplings. This doesn't taste good with dumplings. If you go to the spot, even though it's a seafood spot, do not order the shrimp dumplings. They're a disgrace to dumplings. They really are. Am I going to eat it? Yes, because I paid for it. Uh, you know what? Let me just go and see. Just go and show you how much I paid for this. Wait, I don't even have to go on my phone. The, um, the thing is right here. <coughs> the um, receipt is right here. The steamed shrimp dumplings. $7.49. Save your $7.50 for something else on the menu. Because shrimp dumplings are just not it. And then they used the glass one. They didn't use the regular. When you use the glass one to make the dumplings, it's more finer. So you've got to cook it a different way. You got to roll it a different way because then it falls apart. But obviously the people that work there, they don't know about dumplings. <sighs> if you are interested into the dumplings, if you really want dumplings, it's the only one that hasn't fallen apart on me. Do not come there. I'm upset because I was really excited about these dumplings. They're not horrible that I can't eat them, but they're just not shrimp dumplings. They're, they taste like shrimp. It's a shrimp in there. It's steamed. It just tastes like sushi. It don't taste like a dumpling. I don't taste like a shrimp dumpling. It tastes like more like sushi. It tastes like California roll. That's what it tastes like. Tastes like a California roll, and California has imitation crab, not shrimp, but it has. It tastes like California roll. And that's what it reminds me of. I'm eating it. I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I could eat it. It's not dumpling. You, what is this? 
this is not a dumpling. Who made this? And it's so little. Dumpling's supposed to be big, juicy, filled with all kind of good vegetables and the meat that's chosen. It's supposed to be amazing. You're supposed to just eat it and you're supposed to feel like you're at home. You're supposed to feel like yum food. It's like, it's like, it, the reason why it's appetizer is because it's like food that you want to eat. Food that you're just craving. It's like, it's just like a start of the, the meal. Oh, sometimes, you know, I had a soup dumpling from a soup dumpling spot and that was just no. Some people just don't know how to make dumplings and they shouldn't put it on the menu. Like this really tastes like, it really tastes like seafood. This tastes like a California roll. I can't eat it. I can't eat it. It was very chunky. The texture just like no. I'm done with this. I have two left. I'm done with that. I need something to wash that out. All right, that's it for this video. It's a very long video. It's like 30 minutes. I've been seeing the time right now. I'm probably going to edit it down, but oh my gosh. That was horrible. The star of the shit was horrible. That's not a shrimp dumpling. That's a disgrace. Take it off the menu. Please take it off the menu. Now I don't want to taste your fried calamari because it's like if you can't do a dumpling right with shrimp, do you fry the calamari right? Do you take all the tentacles off? Like, do you take all that part off and then fry? Like, what do you do? Because, like, damn. Damn. Like, would I have some rubbery shit? Would it be so rubbery that I can't, you know, eat it? Like, would it be not cooked all the way through? Or would it be too overcooked that it's just, I'm, 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 I'm. like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, and I was, I was dogging down your seafood boil. Like, your shit was good. Your, your crab legs was good. That's the reason why I bought something else off the menu. Because I wanted to taste if you're just a boil spot. Or if like the shit that you get, you want to do with love. That's not with love. It wasn't, it wasn't made with love. It's all sticky. It's falling apart. It's just, it's, it's not it. It's not hidden. And then your, your soy sauce. It's just regular soy sauce with spice. It's not something special. I'm really upset. I'm sorry. I'm really upset about that because I really wanted some seafood, but not seafood boiled. I wanted something. I didn't want to go to a Chinese spot and just get a regular dumpling. I wanted something different. And I didn't want to go all the way to Manhattan. I should have went all the way to Manhattan because this was a waste of money. This was a waste of seven fifty. This was a waste of money. Now I know never to get anything else besides seafood boil from that place. Now I don't even want to go to seafood boil for that place. If I'm by East Tremont, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go get pizza. Freak that. I'm gonna go get pizza. I'm just mad. Anyways, that's it for this video. Video right here. Video right here. Go check it out. If you want to see other food videos, I have. All my food videos and my reviews. So, you, if you want to see makeup and food, playlist right there. And if you want to see some videos, videos right here. I know one food video is going to be right there. And my head is right there. So, go check it out. Well, my head is right there. If I'm putting the playlist right here, my head's going to be right there. But go check it out, you know. It is what it is. Deuces. I wasted money.